melatonin is our sleep hormone, and it starts to go up in the evening about eight o'clock or so. And we want to allow that sleep hormone to increase in a natural way so that our brain goes to sleep. And yet, most of us in our evening activities are working against our melatonin. We're on the computer, or we're using a cell phone, or we're watching an intense movie on television. And those kinds of activities have been shown to suppress melatonin, if only due to the direct effect of light, especially blue light. So around 8 or 8.30 is a good time to put those things aside and start to maybe do dishes or clean up and, and wind down, find some quiet activity. Even dimming the lights can help. So that's one thing. Another thing that can disturb our sleep at night is just digestion. We can eat too much in the evening. Ayurveda recommends that the evening meal be our lightest meal and we finish it ideally by 7 p.m. or as early after that as possible. And that's simply because digestion is activity. It's metabolic activity and it can easily wake us up or even keep us from falling asleep. Another factor in sleep problems is just stress. It turns out that our stress hormone, cortisol, goes up when we're feeling stressed, and cortisol and melatonin are in a direct opposition to each other. So when cortisol goes up, melatonin goes down. And that can be a problem because then we won't have enough melatonin to keep ourselves asleep at night. So stress can be reduced, of course, by meditation during the day, Exercise in the morning, especially outdoors, has been shown to improve sleep at night. And another source of stress can simply be worrying about not sleeping enough. And research has shown that cognitive behavioral therapy aimed at helping us to replace worried thoughts about not sleeping with some other more positive thinking can actually improve sleep as much or more than taking a sleep drug. And sleep drugs are basically dangerous. They can in increase falls during the night and they've been associated with increased mortality. Another little Ayurvedic tip I will mention to you is to rub your feet and your ears and even your head with coconut oil at bedtime. I know it sounds really strange, but I think you'll find if your mind won't stop and you put coconut oil on it, it's just like you put a sleep, sleep cap on and it just turned your brain right off. It's an amazing, calming effect that Ayurveda recommends for any stress and for improved sleep.